Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Silver Star Road Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Derek Dean, and I'm the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the Department's plans to improve safety and operations at five intersections along Silver Star Road between Homestead Road and Princeton Street. FDOT welcomes your input, and there are multiple ways to submit questions and comments about this project. Any written comments or questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project web pages at either www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445-696-1 or www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445696-2. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 524, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. In 2019, FDOT completed the State Road 438 Pedestrian Safety Study which identified Silver Star Road as a high pedestrian crash corridor and that pedestrian safety improvements are needed. The identified improvements include having more crosswalk locations, reducing wait times, and enhancing pedestrian lighting. Today, Silver Star Road is a six-lane divided roadway with a five-foot-wide sidewalk on both sides, a three-foot utility strip on both sides, and a 19 and a half foot raised median. No changes are proposed to these roadway features. The purpose of this project is to provide pedestrian safety improvements at five intersections along Silver Star Road, between Homestead Road and Princeton Street. This project is located within unincorporated Orange County, including the Pine Hills community and within the city of Orlando. Two design projects cover the five intersections proposed for improvement. Financial Project ID number 445696-1 
includes Kingsland Avenue, shown as Intersection 1. Financial Project ID number 445696-2 includes the other four intersections. Ashland Boulevard, Willow Bend Boulevard, shown as Intersection 2, Lee Havre Boulevard, Coastline Drive, shown as Intersection 3, Rose Coral Drive, Orlando West Drive Intersection, shown as Intersection 4, and Dardanelle Drive, shown as Intersection 5. At the Kingsland Avenue Intersection, Evans High School is located on the north side of Silver Star Road with Sylvan Highland neighborhood to the south. Lynx has bus stops on both sides of Silver Star Road. This intersection will remain as a full signalized intersection. The recommended improvements include adding a pedestrian crosswalk on the east side of the intersection, rebuilding the signal, and upgrading the sidewalk curb ramps. Additional right-of-way is needed to accommodate these proposed safety improvements. For the improvements at the Kingsland Avenue intersection, design activities are ongoing and will be completed by fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $455,000. Additional right-of-way will be needed and that acquisition is funded for fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $993,000. Construction is funded for summer 2027 with an estimated cost of $778,000. At three of the intersections, a new design concept is proposed for improving safety known as a Signalized Restricted Crossing U-Turn Intersection, or R-Cut. As shown in the example, the R-Cut intersection layout includes the following features. Diagonal crosswalks, dedicated right turns from the side streets, and designated U-Turns on the main road. Safety is improved by separating vehicles from pedestrians and bicyclists and by having shorter wait times. When crossing the main road at an R-cut intersection, pedestrians and bicyclists move through the intersection on a diagonal. This design separates pedestrians and bicyclists from vehicles turning left from the main road onto the side streets and from vehicles turning right from the side streets. This new circulation pattern significantly reduces potential collisions involving vehicles with pedestrians and bicyclists. The traditional crosswalk remains when crossing the side street on either side of the main road. For drivers, the R-cut intersection functions like a traditional intersection. When on the main road, drivers may continue straight or turn right or left onto a side street. If on a side street, drivers will no longer be able to go straight or make a left turn. Instead, drivers make a right turn and then make a U-turn at the next median opening. At the Ashland Boulevard and Willow Bend Boulevard intersection, you'll find the Orlando Police Department Northwest Community Center, Emanuel Full Gospel Assembly Church, Stella West Apartments, the Willows Neighborhood, Academy 2000 Daycare, and the Sylvan Highland Neighborhood. The proposed R-cut at this intersection will result in access changes. Today, this location is a full signalized intersection. Drivers can go straight or make left or right turns, whether on Silver Star Road or on the side streets. With the R cut in place, the intersection will become a directional signalized intersection. The R cut design will separate pedestrians and bicyclists from vehicles as they use a diagonal crosswalk to cross Silver Star Road. 
Traditional crosswalks will be used when crossing either Ashland Boulevard or Willow Bend Boulevard. A pedestrian island will be added in the middle of the intersection and pedestrians will have priority when crossing Silver Star Road. Drivers on Ashland Boulevard or Willow Bend Boulevard will no longer be able to go straight or make a left turn. Instead, drivers will make a right turn and then make a U-turn at the next median opening. Drivers on Silver Star Road will continue to be able to go straight or turn right or left onto Ashland Boulevard or Willow Bend Boulevard. No additional right-of-way is needed for these improvements. At the Le Havre Boulevard and Coastline Drive intersection, you'll find Stella West Apartments, Addition Financial, Highland Baptist Church, Staghorn Villas, and the Riviera San Jose Shores neighborhood. This intersection will be signalized and the existing bi-directional median will be improved. The ARCUT design will separate pedestrians and bicyclists from vehicles as they use a diagonal crosswalk to cross Silver Star Road. Traditional crosswalks will be used when crossing either Le Havre Boulevard or Coastline Drive. The existing island will be enlarged to accommodate pedestrians crossing Silver Star Road. There will be no access changes. Drivers on Silver Star Road will continue to be able to go straight or turn right or left onto La Havre Boulevard or Coastline Drive. At the Rose Coral Drive and Orlando West Drive intersection, you'll find Taco Bell, Amscott, Staghorn Villas, Rosala West Orlando Apartments, and Orlando Terrace Apartments. This intersection will be signalized and the existing bi-directional median will be improved. The ARCA design will separate pedestrians and bicyclists from vehicles as they use a diagonal crosswalk to cross Silver Star Road. Traditional crosswalks will be used when crossing either Rose Coral Drive or Orlando West Drive. The existing island will be enlarged to accommodate pedestrians crossing Silver Star Road. There will be no access changes. At the Dardanelle Drive intersection, you'll find Orlando West Commerce Center, A&F Heroes and Grill, 7-Eleven, and the Normandy Shores neighborhood. This intersection remains a full signalized intersection. Recommended improvements include upgrading existing pedestrian crosswalks, adding a crosswalk on the east side of the intersection, rebuilding the signal, and adjusting the signal timings to shorten pedestrian wait times. These improvements will not require additional right-of-way. For these four intersection improvements, design activities are ongoing and will be completed by fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. No additional right-of-way is needed since these improvements will take place within existing right-of-way. Construction is funded for spring 2025 with an estimated cost of $3.1 million. We encourage you to share your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method of providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 26, 2023 will become part of the project's public meeting record. A member of the project team will respond to all comments and questions in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. 
To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project websites at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445696-1 or www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445696-2. You may also contact Derek Dean, the FDOT project manager, directly by email at derek.dean at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the FDOT project manager by phone at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notifications, comment form, and project information handout. To learn more about these projects, go to www dot cflroads dot com. Type the project numbers, either four four five six nine six dash one or four four five six nine six dash two in the search box at the top right, and click go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation. Thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 26, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445696-1 and www.cflroads.com slash project slash 445696-2 Have a good evening, and remember, safety is everyone's responsibility.